Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a circle skirt. Let's say this piece of paper is your fabric. You will need your fabric cut out in the shape of a square. Fold the square diagonally to obtain a triangle and then fold that in half. Then pin a ruler or a marked piece of string to the edge of the triangle that has no sides with the raw edge and start to form a quarter of a circle by measuring, marking and then cutting the fabric. When you open your material it should be in the shape of a circle. You now have to cut another circle. Fold the fabric back and establish where you want your skirt to sit on your body. Because I want a high waisted skirt, I will measure my waist, add 1 inch for seam allowance and divide that by 3.1 or pi and then divide that in half. Now you will cut one side of the fabric so you have a way to put the skirt on. This is where we will put a zipper or buttons. Then you cut your waistband. You establish the width of your waistband. You multiply that by 2 and add a half an inch for seam allowance. So if you're, you want your waistband to be 2 inches wide, you will multiply that by 2 and add half an inch for seam allowance and you will cut out a, a 5 inch waistband. The length of the waistband will be the circumference of the smaller circle. I recommend that you iron interfacing on the waistband because it gives it a better finished look. I've um, ironed my interfacing on and I pinned the waistband on the skirt. I pinned this, this is the wrong side, the, the, the interior part of the skirt and I pinned that a waistband with the right side. This is the right side and this is the, the interfacing. I pinned the waistband with the right side on the interior side of the skirt and I will sew it and then I will turn it around. Okay, Wait, let me just turn it around. So, um, and then this part will be sewn on. This is the right side, the exterior part of the skirt. And I will put the waistband like so. Tug it in a little bit. And sew it like this. Okay? So, let me show you the other part. This is where I will sew the waistband and then tug it in and sew it over so this part won't show. After you have pinned and sewed the waistband on, you will need to sew one more top stitch at the upper side of the waistband and this will assure the professional finished look of the skirt. To put in a zipper you need to sew the side seams of the skirts together. Now we will put in the zipper. What you need to do is, this is where I sewed my skirt. Okay, and we open up the fold this excess fabric will be cut off later. We open up the fold and we try to put in the zipper, okay? So, this is how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way or not, but just this is how I do it. I put in this part with the teeth of the zipper into the fold and then I pin it. Okay? So this is all I do. Afterwards, I sew the zipper on one side and on the other. Okay, so sorry, I forgot to mention. You sewed this with a big stitch. Okay, you probably can't see it on my camera, but you did sew it with a big stitch. And um, when the zipper is already sewed on, we will open the stitch from here 
and the zipper will show and the little key of the zipper um, can be opened and closed okay but um, we will cut the thread on this side up to this point here okay so where the um, uh, zipper ends and it's very important that that um, the rest of the skirt will not uh, will stay sewed on so what I recommend is you go another time and uh, stitch it backwards and forwards where the pressure point will be where, where the zipper will end and this is how you will assure that the skirt is is properly sewed. I finished on. sewing on the zipper. As you can see, I went on this part a few times so it would stay, and I sewed on. Um, I went back and forth here and here, so it will stay in place. Now all I have to do is open up the seam. Okay and the zipper will work take your time with opening the seam you don't want to cut out a thread from this part here okay right, let me just clean up everything and I will show you the finished product the only thing I have to do now, if I have a material that frays, is to make a seam here, and um, then the skirt is finished. I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you try to sew the skirt, send me pictures. I look forward to feedback, comments, and other DIY project suggestions. I wish all of you sewing nerds out there a wonderful day, and... See you next time!